Okay guys, so I want to do a quick video um, on modifying the blondes. So I did another video on, on why I dumped my P1 and, and settled on these blondes. Um, and, and just an FYI, I've, I've got some high-end headphones as well, both headphones and IEMs. And I, it's kind of a hobby with me and so I, I, I've been listening to this kind of stuff, high-end stuff for a lot of years now. And so when I find something like this, it's inexpensive, but it's just fantastic. I mean, for me, that's like finding, you know, gold out in the backyard, right? So these things are uh, um, excellent audio-wise. But I'm not reviewing these right now. What I want to do is cover that, you know, when you buy these, and in my other video, you'd see that I bought a second set in case there's like a catastrophe and you can't buy blondes anymore, right? So I got another set, but... Uh, this is the gunmetal and this is the chrome silver. The gunmetal's got a really nice color. I actually really like it, but I thought I'd try something different with this one. Um, so when people get these, all the reviews are saying, yeah, they're great, but the tips are, are shit and the cable is shit. And it, that's true. It is. It is. It's not good at all. Now, does it sound better with a high-end cable like this, a really nice cable, copper or whatever? No, it doesn't sound any different at all. Cables don't make a bit of difference. Um, I don't care what anyone tells you. I used to do electrical engineering and um, I, you know, repairing complex circuits, things like that. I, I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. Um, the wire inside of this that leads to the, to the driver is a tiny little uh, uh, hairline. It looks like a piece of hair in there and it's a wire, right? So putting a big honking wire here, it's still the tiny little wire in there that's driving it. So it doesn't matter, all right? So the black cable that comes with this, yeah, it's thin and crappy and tangles and, and it doesn't sit right in your ear. But if you don't care about that, if it works for you, the sound is the same as with the cable like this, all right? That's not what I'm talking about. What I want to talk about is for those of you who want to change the cable, this can be a tricky thing because the blonde uses, I think it's called this QDC connector, right? Where uh, it's basically a raised plastic area and two female slots for the pins uh, in there, right, for a receptacle. Now this has this shroud around the outside that blocks and covers the pins so that uh, uh, it fits down really nice, it can come off at an angle and that kind of stuff. So I had a straight one on here and I liked it, but I noticed it was kind of sitting in my ear funny. And I really like this kind of curved piece on cables and the QDC this connector makes it really uh, fit well. So I bought this cable. I got it on Linsole for, I don't know, like 29 bucks. It's a, I wasn't, I'm surprised actually. This is a really nice cable, really high quality, and it looks really cool. And what I like most about it is, is that it doesn't tangle. It doesn't tangle. I got a couple other cables that are also really beautiful and nice looking and, and even more expensive than this. And man, when I roll those things up really nice and neat, and I put them in my case that stores and stuff, when I take them out, it's like they're tied together in a knot, like someone went in there and tied it in a knot and put it back in. So this cable doesn't do that. I have yet to have it tangle up because a lot of weighs nice in my ear, hangs down good, all that kind of stuff. But <clears throat> it wouldn't fit when I got it. It was like, huh? It, it's like, uh, it wouldn't go in there. No matter what, it wouldn't fit. The difference is, <coughs> excuse me, I'm <coughs> fighting a little cold here. The difference is that <coughs> if you look in here, and I, I don't know if you can see this or not, but in here, it's the edges on, internally are rounded on this on the hole here. Let me see if I can, if you can, can you focus on that? Eh, maybe. Um, they're rounded, whereas on the blonde, it's square, so it wouldn't fit. So how did I fix that without, you know, major work and sending these back and trying to find ones, all that kind of so. Sanding block. This is a 400 grit sanding block. I got it at Home Depot. I actually use this because I do some modeling as well, um, building uh, different types of models. Um, I got this for like, I don't know, like two bucks. Yeah, a buck 99. I don't know what it was. It was really cheap. So it's just a sponge filled uh, sanding block. It's sanding on uh, grit on each side, right? 400 grit. <coughs> a razor knife. Um, I I used to be in construction and I used to use this knife a lot for cutting flooring and other materials, but um, this is, the Stanley's a real nice, nice grip so you won't slip and cut your, your arteries or something. But you could use an X-Acto knife. This is a little heavier, it makes it a little easier to cut down. Um, and then a magnifying glass, and this one's kind of dirty right now, but um, 
basically a magnifying glass of some type. You can use whatever you want because this thing's really small and I don't know about you, maybe your eyes are big enough to, I mean, your eyes are good enough to see, but I need to use reading glasses. Um, so what I do, what I did was <clears throat> get this thing in your hand. Now, another thing you can do is you can take some tape and wrap it around these edges if you're worried that you might slip with the sandpaper and scratch this thing or with the knife and scratch it. Um, I, I've been doing this kind of stuff a long time. So for me, um, I wasn't too worried about it, but that's something you could definitely do. I've done that in the past with other fragile things, just wrap tape on it. Do not put this in a vise. Do not put this in any type of a mechanical clamp, a C clamp, a wooden clamp, anything like that. Use your fingers. If you have to wear gloves, so if you're worried about cutting your fingers or something, wear a thick glove that you won't cut through. Um, but do not put this in the clamp. You'll crack this very easily and, and just basically ruin them. So on your hands, you can take the, the tip off, leave that over there. Um, and what I did was I went to each corner first, right? And I looked down through here like this, okay? Oh, sorry. Let me pull this in so you guys can see it. So this is a magnifying glass. And I just held it under here and I looked through there. And then what I did was I just cut down on the corner very gently. Straight down, turn it, straight down, turn it, straight down, turn it, straight down. And I just looked and see if I could, how well they looked. And so at that point they're beveled, not round, but still good. Then I did a quick uh, fit test just to see once I was cleaned off and yeah, it still wouldn't go quite in there. But I could see the bevels were pretty good and it was looking more round. So then, no more razor, don't need that anymore. <clears throat> Take the sandpaper and then you'll see that you can kind of bump this to the edge. There's a little edge on the flange right here. There's a little edge and you can just, or a ledge, I guess you could call that. And just put it right on that ledge and I just sanded like that. And I could see that there's some plastic coming off so I know that it's, it's coming off of there. Right, and I just did that around the edges. Get it cleaned out really good. If you've got air spray, it's good to use that. And then once you, you've got it uh, a little sanded, you can check and see. Yeah, it looks pretty round. You can look under your magnifying glass. Do a little test fit and nice and snug. That's where you want it. You want it to be not so loose that it just falls out. You want it to be a little bit stiff to get in, but snug, okay? Um, once you've done that, that's it. Real simple. So now you can fit a really nice expensive QDC cable onto these um, without any hassle and they'll come in and out really easy if you want to swap cables. <clears throat> and that's it. That's what I want to show you guys. Um, knife, sampling block, magnifying glass, you're good to go.